Hey guys, what's up? 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today we're going to talk about a trade night. Um, it's been a long time since I posted a video. I'm sorry about that kind of hiatus from posting. Been really busy kind of adjusting to some work, um, being busier than I used to be um, with that, and yeah, just haven't really gotten around to making a video. Plus, I haven't made a ton of pickups recently. I've kind of been, you know, looking at cards, but not not as active in that buying and selling as I was before. But I wanted to get out some content, and I had something to talk about. So I was excited to get this one on. I hope you enjoy. I went to my first trade night ever um, at Sports Card Junction. Uh, shout out to them. They're my LCS. Uh, check them out on IG. Uh, if you're in the area, definitely worth going to. But, you know... It's definitely a great shop, and it was really fun to go to a trade night. I've never been to any card shows before, and this was kind of the closest experience I got. Came in, tons of people, you know, wanted to check out my cards, wanted to look through my my case of cards, wanted to trade, and I ended up making a couple deals. I met met a guy um, from high school who I didn't know collected cards, and we made a trade, and it was a really fun time. But yeah, I'll get into some of the trades I made here. Show them off, show off my new pickups. I mean, these definitely are not like investor type. Like this was just for fun, like getting cards that I liked, trading away some cards, getting some cards I really liked back in return. Yeah, it was really fun kind of to get back to those roots of the hobby. You know that trading is really something that's so integral to the hobby. It, it was very fun to do. Also, apologies for only one card in the back. I can't find my other stand. Oh, wait, well... I think I might actually know where it is now, but it's, it will not be here for this video. So anyways, the first card that I traded away to a um, person that I knew was a Sidney Crosby Patch Auto from Artifacts. Um, that was my least valuable or least coveted one that I owned by a lot. He said he was looking to get a Crosby Auto. He really liked it. And he had some cool stuff in his box that I was excited to get. So first off, uh, he had a Cabrian Hayes variation rookie from, um, I'm just or organizing these cards a little bit here, from Heritage. Um, so I got that, um, but I traded it. I actually ended up trading it for this Devers Bowman Chrome Auto, which is pretty nice. I, if you guys know me, you know I like the Red Sox, so I like Devers. Um, move this. And I was pretty happy about that. Also, in that same trade, I got this Juan Soto Bowman paper out of $4.99. I believe this card is his first Bowman card that's not that 2016 auto. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure about that. So I traded away that Heritage Cabrian Hayes. So basically, and I got I gave up $10, but basically for my Crosby patch auto, I got this Devers, this Soto. This pink camo Zion from Mosaic, which actually looks very clean. Um, once again, this is not probably the best card for the investor, but I think it looks really cool. And, you know, I don't have very much Zion. So I was happy to get a card that I liked and I thought looked cool. Next up was this. Never bought anything in one of these GAI slabs. And I don't really trust their grading, but, you know, this is a card you can kind of grade with your own eyes. It's a Signs of the Future from Bowman, Rookie Auto of Marc-Andre Fleury. I mean, this was pretty cool. Doesn't go for a ton, probably around a little, we valued it a little below 100. Uh, that's about what they go. But this is a nice card. I mean, I don't have any Fleury cards. So, and I'm thinking about buying a Young Guns, but they're really pricey. But this was a nice place to start. I might crack it, but yeah, so got all those and then... Once again, this was so cool. This Ian Book Auto from Leaf Metal Draft out of 10. That pink and that wave looks so good. Really excited to add this one for the Notre Dame PC. You know, I've got some Claypool stuff in Notre Dame gear. I don't think I'll ever buy any Ian Book in his NFL gear. Maybe, I don't know. It has very little appeal to me. But him and his Notre Dame gear has a lot of appeal. So I traded that Crosby. Got this Ian Book Auto out of 10, this Flurry Rookie Auto, this Zion Pink Camo, and then these two, this Devers and the Soto. So let me know how you think I did. Definitely traded down, but was definitely okay trading down. Had a lot of 
got a cool trade. Oh, I forgot to show this. This was in that same deal. I got this National Treasures, Heinz Ward, Chad Johnson, Andre um, Johnson, game use patch. So three out of 25. Sorry, I'm a little disjointed here, but so I got this triple game use patch auto out of 25 right there. So I got this, the Soto, the Devers, the Zion, the Flurry Rookie Auto, the Book Auto out of 10, and then also cash. Uh, I think about $100 in cash or something. So I, I got a lot of stuff back for the Crosby. Um, makes sense to make the value work because all this stuff is a lot lower value. But yeah, it was a fun trade. And then I ended up making another trade also for some cash and cards. I took in cash, which was, you know, nice because I'm still trying to get rid of some stuff for some cash. Help, um, you know, offset some of the purchase of that Crosby RPA, which the people seem to love. But traded away my Luca Revolution PSA 9. That's definitely a card that I would rebuy at a later time. I do think it's probably that stuff's going to keep coming down just because the pop is kind of insane. But, and it's something I would 100% rebuy in the future. But traded that. Guy really was interested in it. Traded it. I got this 2002 crown. Drew Brees, just a base card. Worth a little bit. Pretty early card. This 2002 crown Brady. In respectable condition, considering it's a die cut, too. Got that. And got this Tatis. 2020 tops chrome refractor with the rookie cup i remember pulling this base from top series one and thinking dang that's a nice card like but the base from tops are worth almost nothing but this refractor from tops chrome is worth a couple good amount like maybe 15 bucks or so but yeah i got this and then cash for that luca revolution 9 was pretty happy with it these are cards i'll probably just all sit on just cool to add to the collection. I really like this Tatis. That was a nice one that we added in at the end of the deal in addition to the cash to make it work. And a card that I don't own any Tatis rookie stuff, but this is definitely a card of Tatis that I'll enjoy. So yeah, highlights for me were I got this Tatis that was super cool. Um, got this Ian Book Auto, probably my favorite. That Flurry Auto is nice. And I don't know, I really like the Zion. Both of these look awesome, these pinks. Um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. If if you guys ever get the chance to go to a trade night or a card show, you totally should. It's really energizing as far as the hobby goes to see so many people who, despite you know all the issues you know with prices going down and stuff, who still love the hobby and want to make tr make trades, want to see cards, excited to see new cards. It's really fun, and I had a really good time. Um, and I hope you guys go out and, you know, check out your own ones nearby. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll try to get more out soon, and I'll catch you next time.